Greetings and welcome to another excellent World of Tanks video. In fact, this one is more than excellent. This one could be, dare I say, legendary. And this was just myself, wrong way, and creeping clown running long haul missions just having a good time tier three and we had a really bad team but we had a really great map for us and this game is going to show you just exactly what two guys can do working with perfect coordination it was actually unbelievable and if I hadn't been there I don't know if I would have believed the story fortunately I was there and fortunately I'm making a video to show you guys exactly what we did it was unreal if you enjoy this video please leave a like Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You'll see more videos like this. Crazy good stuff. Tell your friends so they can have a chance to like and subscribe as well. Now, let's get down to the business. Welcome to Lakeville. What you're going to see here is one of the most legendary comebacks that I've ever seen. I've already posted one where I was in a match where I came back to win the game when my team was down 11 to 4. This one is even bigger. So sit back, relax, and watch. Well, let's watch the Masters at work. Yeah, we had a guy die right off the bat, unfortunately. You're going to see one of the craziest comebacks that I can even imagine. I'm sure somebody has done this as well, but do you find videos? I don't know. So what's happening here, wrong way, is running light tank. A caboose. He's up there on the right-hand side. Right there, he's a blue dot, you see. He is spotting the valley. And the spots that he makes on the enemy tanks leaves them open to a barrage for myself. So, Wrong Way is one of the best light tank players I have ever seen. He's completely great. And he's so great in this match because he does everything correct. I don't even have to, I never had to think about it. I'm just able to play artillery. He's dead. 8 to 12, it's going to get bad. But he does his job so accurately, I didn't have to worry about him at all. Or anything that was going on. He has it completely under control. And when that leaves me free as artillery to look around like at this moment there's nothing I can do on the valley because there's none of those spotted targets so I'm looking around and keeping my eyes on Lake Road you see that uh, medium tank at Fox 4 I'm also looking to see if anything happens on our weakness like you saw that guy just pop up at Alpha 7 and there you go you got guys right there at Alpha 8 so this guy is going to be under attack so I turn to assist him in defense over there because wrong way has the choke point in the valley under control so now while well, we were 4 to 12 down now it's 4 to 11 we're whittling away now that leaves myself wrong way and SPD Raven and the DW2 and some other guy that I don't know the A20, he was the guy over there on the far left at Alpha 8. But 4 to 10, we're making a comeback. You're in trouble, Sonny. 
Not likely to, that he can make that shot from there. Fortunately, he did not. Close, but no cigar. That's four to nine. That was wrong way, crushing him in the caboose. And the caboose is not exactly what I would say is a top-rated light tank. I have it, and I don't like it at all. But he's pulling a rabbit out of his hat with a less-than-excellent tank. It's a mercenary tank. But he can play it, man. That's all that matters. That dude, the A20, he got that dude, which is fantastic. Now we're down to four to eight. It's no longer absurd to think we could come back. It's just ridiculous. Unfortunately, that is the end of Victor. But he did great and was a tremendous help to our team. But now it's just the three of us. Of course, wrong way and myself were in a party with Clown. Uh, SPD Raven is a PlayStation guy. And, you know, we didn't talk to him. We were in a party and everything. But that guy played a phenomenal role in this comeback. You'll see it as it unfolds. Three to six. Again, still not. It's ridiculous to think you come back from this. You normally don't. But, I mean, he is wrong way. One of the best light tank players that I know, if not if not the best. And it's me, one of the best artillery players you've ever seen, speaks for itself. It's a devastating con oh by the way, we're down only three to four now. It's gone from ridiculous to you know we you have a really ch good chance here. And I'm pounding people from our with artillery. And in case you didn't know this, I have over 3 million experience in the Sexton. So I'm definitely no slouch. Boom, baby. So that is wrong way combined with uh, the help of SPD Raven. I had awesome spotters. And those guys persisted to come through the valley. I'm like, man, we're the best in the business at this. And now we took the lead. Remember, we were down 4 to 12. We've killed 10 and lost only one, which was Victor. That was phenomenal. But this is all set up by wrong ways control of that rock on the right you see right there on the edge of your screen and my artillery accuracy now we're rolling three guys strong with uh, a DW2 leading the way so we went we, we just abuse this guy three on one and I'm tired of this baloney so time to smash I barely did any damage for some reason. But that's okay. I have two two magnificent helpers. SPD Raven with the kill. Fantastic. Guess what? We have done what was previously thought on impossible. Four against twelve. We killed eleven of those 12 so far, losing only one of the four. It's unbelievable. We're at this point, we're like, look, we've done everything we needed. We're going to win this game. Let's go capture the base. Don't goof around. We have just stolen the victory from the jaws of defeat. And I'm like, this guy, we figured he has to come down probably from Lake Road. And if he does, it's going to be not good for him. There's like no there's no chance there's no chance this guy has any any possibility of beating us in a Panzer 4A. It's just not good enough. He's not going to kill the three of us. That is just not happening. Because if I remember correctly, Raven is in unbelievable condition there 
and that's it. The timer ran out. We captured the base. Fantastic. That was me firing my. That was me firing my shot at him. That robot. That looks awesome, doesn't it? I've never seen that. Let's uh, take the full look on the gun flash. That is phenomenal. So this is an this is an unforeseen bonus to have this lighting effect here. Super awesome. And now we get to the Olympic screen. So wrong way, second place, a phenomenal job in a caboose. Which is nothing short of phenomenal. Myself, MVP, I mean, it's artillery, it's what I do. It speaks for itself. I had better games individually today than this one. This is the greatest game of the day by far because of the the uh, legendary performance. And SPD Raven was phenomenal as well, especially when you consider that Raven was not in the party with us because of PlayStation and we're Xbox. So we're an Xbox party talking to ourselves, controlling this, and Raven is playing along with us with perfect coordination. It was fantastic. Now we're going to go to the end game screen, Lakeville. So you can see, you know, what happened there. One of the things about Sexton Artillery, it has a 181 silver bonus, meaning 81% bonus for silver. That's why I scored over 50,000 silver in this game. This is, as you know, most of you anyway, that I use this for crew training. You see at the bottom, the blue XP, that's for commander experience, 7715. So I'm working on, I'm working on a crew training in this tank, and we pulled off what is nothing short of a legendary comeback, because we were, we were dead. Five kills, 1,200 damage, phenomenal. This was set up by wrong way. This is the medals that I got. High caliber is the who I did the most damage. Bruiser, you know, damage enemy modules and crew five times or more. Fighter destroy four or five vehicles in one battle. If you get six, it's a top gun. I didn't get six. But it wasn't about how many I got. It was about how many we as the surviving team got. And here is the scoreboard. So as you obviously saw, I was the MVP, but I was set up for excellence because wrong way played, I, I mean, as close to perfect as you can play that position is what I saw in this game. So he sets me up to do this. Without him, I don't do it. And then without me, you know, he doesn't do what he does. So it's like, but look at his, look at his spotting damage, 833. When was the last time you saw 800 plus in a tier three match? We're, we're tier threes now. Uh, SPD Raven is a tier four DW2, as was Victor. He was a tier four A20. I mean, he was, he was tremendous now. Just, he was just the one that was in the bad position to die uh, once we were, were at four versus 12. You know, he got a couple of kills. Fourth place, a tremendous result. If any one of us are inferior, we don't make this. So this is really a four person effort just to make sure that we give credit where credit is due. The rest of our team didn't have a good game. I mean, we had one robot that made a kill. And then the rest of, you know, these guys didn't make any. Now, here's one of the things you rarely see. A game where five players do all the killing. So you see one, two, three, four, five. Normally, you're going to have to have eight or nine. But this is an exception where five players 
did all that was required in the killing department. A tremendous game. Like I said, it's it's one of the greatest. It's one of the greatest comebacks. I've, it's the biggest comeback I've ever made. The one I have a video where I came back as part of a team. It was two man, me and another guy, where we came back from four versus eleven. But this four versus twelve was uh, I've never seen it happen. I'm sure it has happened, but those games are not recorded and not put on YouTube, so they're lost to history. So, in my observation, I had not seen a four versus twelve. I'm sure it's happened, but. This is the greatest comeback I've ever made, numerically. The four versus 11 was just two of us at the end of that game. So hard to say. And I was in a, that was a also a mixed match where I was in a tier two 38H and my partner was at a tier three M3 Stewart. So that was a phenomenal game of that tier. This was the phenomenal game in this tier. This might be the better one. But this was a game that was really dictated by what Wrong Way was able to do in perfect position along the valley to spot and set. He's the one who sets up this victory. Many people who try to do what he do, what he did, they get antsy and they don't have the discipline and the understanding of what needs to happen. He did, and that's why I said his execution was essentially flawless. And with that execution, we just whittled them down. They kept coming. They kept thinking they were going to do something. They didn't know. You know, I've executed this strategy many times, as has he. So this is not something new for us. We know how to execute the strategy, and that's what we did with just about flawless perfection. That's how you can come back from a four versus 12. So I hope that you enjoyed this game. Please leave a like. Please subscribe. Tell your friends this game was awesome. And as many people as possible need to see it so they can see what can be done. And how you don't have to always lose when you're down big. So that's really all that I have in this game. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos I'm going to make. I hope to see you guys there, and I'll see you next time.